What up guys, it is the most phenomenal drummer in history, Justin Lynch is here coming to you guys to give you guys a album review of The Serenity of Suffering that just came out an hour ago. I listened to every song. I wanted to do a review for each song, play the song for you guys and you guys could listen, but unfortunately Korn with Roadrunner Records uh, is not allowing people at this time to play their music. I don't know if they signed something where they don't want people copying their music. So I can't play it for you, unfortunately. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to uh, explain to you guys and tell you guys how I thought the album was. I listened to every song already at 12 o'clock midnight F a dot. I was already checking shit out. I was just on the album listening to everything. So I started out listening to Black is the Soul. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. I had a little bit of an Untouchables vibe. A little bit of Follow the Leader actually with the groove. Ray is sounding a lot more like David. David Silvera is my favorite drummer in the world. Um, but Ray's very good. So Black is the Soul, I give it a good solid 8 out of 10. Go. Now we get to my favorite song on the album, The Hating. Um, I just want to tell you guys, this is probably the heaviest corn song of all time. Especially the end. It didn't even sound like JD the way he was screaming. I advise you guys to check that out. The 10 out of 10 is my favorite song on the album. Mm, Everything Falls Again in the same category. Um, reminded me of Path of Tuality a little bit. The ending was just perfect. This album is just the best corn album of all time. Uh, not of all time. Excuse me. It's up there. Okay, It's not as good as uh, Fall Leader Issues, but I give it in the top three. Not yet another night, a net, another good one, a little different, something you guys will enjoy. Uh, it's very deep, very deep. Some JD, JD has been through a lot of shit, so this is a song you guys should really listen to. When You Are Not There, another good one. The intro to this song is just unbelievable. You can really hear the bass, I feel they did a good job on that. Next in line, probably my second favorite best song on the album. Just the way the melody and the way it sounds. Remind me a little bit of um, Life is Peachy. Back in 96. Had that little bit of vibe. Maybe Chi a little bit. And then Please Come For Me, the end, the end song on this album really set the tone for the album. It really ended the album on a high note thinking hey we might have another album in the future so i advise you guys to buy this album make sure you guys buy it okay it's a good buy it's probably one of one of the best uh corn albums of all time I'm, i might put it second next to issues i don't know but i'm gonna enjoy listening to that to this tomorrow at the gym definitely the hating is the best gym pump song you can listen to okay so until next time, take care. Hope you enjoyed this review.